the new upgraded Titan Cameraman. This is complicated, so let's just get straight into it. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So let's give this a go. So we got this camera head, right? So we do a box straight across, down the side. Like so, and then inside here we got like the lens. Uh, and then there's like another circle around it. Just like the rim of the camera or the you know, that eye looking at us. And then we got another sort of section, right? So it kind of comes in. It looks like there's like these lines here. And then it comes down again, steps down there. And given these edge lines sort of helps, you just go trace around just to make it look a little bit three dimensional. Right, like that. So two cameras beside that, so jutting out from here, two boxes, another one here. It's just coming out from there. And these have, you know, that sort of canopy cover thing that cameras have inside like that kind of a shape and then there is like a handle or something just sticking up here they've got like edges to them here I think it's a handle anyway and his shoulder just comes out this side and a bit lower down on that side. So then there is these two little wings that stick up here. And then something straight up the middle. So this is just right up. And then down, and there's extra parts to it on the side. There's like a red light in there. So then it's like these two cameras have like handles to them, like little sort of sections here. Right, and then we have the circular thing on his chest. So we'll go down, and then there's loads of stuff on his shoulders up here. So we'll do this kind of an ellipse or circular sort of shape, right? So we'll just go around here, and it's kind of like oval ish because, like, as the viewer, we're sort of looking up, so it's not like a perfect circle, it's more like an egg, it's kind of longer this way. And then there's another little blue light inside, curving around here. And then there's like an edge to this. And then another sort of rim here. where it sort of connects and then there's like all these little sort of edge lines and stuff on these. Right, and then we got those spikes, right? So they cut across this, like three of them. And then one here. And they go sort of box like on the end and then down. <clears throat> and 
And then there's all pipes and like handles and loads of stuff, gear on them. So it's like a little box here. That comes down like that. And then like handles and pipes and loads of stuff. They look like pipes, I'm not really sure if they are pipes. And there's like a little handle or something here. And over this side. There's triangular sort of pockets. This area is like broken up into these different sort of sections of armor and stuff. Hard to see it because it's so dark. Another line in there, I think. Okay, got a belt. So we'll go just across, and it's just a curve line across here right and then there's like different sections to this so we'll just go across to here and we meet a kind of a pouch thing here which is like clipped onto his belt it's like a little pocket but it's like part of the belt as well and you raise any lines of course you draw over and then the buckle. And there's like straps and stuff just there. And the side of his body is quite wide, so like, you know, just comes up for his armpit going that way. And it meets like the lapel of his jacket. He's got like pretty wide sort of jacket there. Similar on this side, so like you can see a bit more of his jacket just coming down here. Comes over that belt. And then there's like more pipes and different sort of boxes and areas. All here. You're just kind of making up breaking up the space into different sort of Armored sections and stuff all here. And that's his jacket. And then the lapel of the jacket sticks out a bit wider over here. It comes down long. trench coat going off down that way and then there's what looks like a pocket here and then the trench coat goes that way then on this side we have his knee so the jacket goes off that way right so he's got these straps here and then the center line for his trousers here and you've got like crisscross lines just on that and then another strap on this side. And then his legs sort of stretched out here with all these four lines and stuff. There's a knee pad here, and then his other knee 
folding sort of like this way. And then a big knee pad here. And armor coming down. This way, I'm gonna give it sort of an edge, some scratches, and I think there's a strap holding the knee pad on here. Right, and then he's got like a box or a holster or something on the side. Remember, if I go too fast, hit that pause button. And so that's like his body pretty much. So there's like stuff on his shoulders and then weapons on his arms. So now it's like all the weapon details. So his arms just come down, say it this way. And his other arm goes down. That way, and there's like all these fabric lines, big, wide, crazy big arms. It's down here. And then we have an, two more cameras, and then some sort of lasers and Gatling guns on the back. So, what to do first? We'll do the stuff on the shoulder first, maybe. So, Hmm. So there's like another line there, and then this. It's like the hood of this camera, right? So it goes around here. It joins the edge and back down. And then it's got like a little rim on it, and then it goes back this way. <coughs> and the boxed off area on the inside with the actual camera area there and then an edge line another one over this side Curves around down and then down here back to there back like that and we'll give it this sort of little edge area and then the box inside, like that. And then there are these unusual sort of weaponry things. I might just go off my page there, but it goes back in <coughs> like that. And then the other side comes up. Down like this, kind of like this H, like a letter H kind of shape, right? And then there's all devices and boxes and stuff inside here, and you can break these up as much as you want. It's like another little H thing. weapon inside there or something and then give all these sort of edges and stuff right and then do this over here and then we'll do those gatling guns right so you're doing this kind of hate shape to get you started And then there's a box or something inside there. And then we do this again, sort of on the inside.
okay and then those gatling guns so the easiest way to do this i think is to do the curve lines first so we go one two three and then these kind of curve around the side and then there's another little section Right, and then you do the end of it. There's no way. Okay. Curved part there. And then we got like the actual pipes of the gun, right? Along the edge. So then these have like little holes. And each of these would be pipe so we go another one here and another one here another one here and another one here and then each of these will have like a pipe side to them Right, roughly like that, and then there's like a couple more around the back. So say like kind of like that, right? Complicated enough, but we'll do the same thing here, basically. Um, and a third one just behind this and then the bottom and then each of these so you'll have little circles going around in that curved pattern and then you'll just add your edges like that like a cylinder and then each of these will have edges to them pipes coming down Right, and then a couple more around the top. Like that. Right, now those big crazy guns that are like on his hand. So we can see like a bit more of his hand here. Like he's making a fist, it looks like. So. You know, like his thumb coming around here in the back of the hand goes around this way and then like fingers just sort of curved around here Kind of cartoony sort of hands anyway they're not they don't put a great deal of detail into them okay like a fist like that the other one's like inside blades so we'll just get this sort of gun it's kind of drawn in it's complicated this so we'll just go for it or simplify it a bit right so we'll just go down like his hand and it kind of like sits on the back of his hand here and steps in and then we got like a cylinder on the top right so that's like a weapon and then the top on the other side there and it just kind of steps out around there 
It's like a double barrel. And then the back of it comes out here and there's lo like loads of angles, like it's insane. <clears throat> so it's like a top part. You won't be able to do it all, I'd say. And then there's like another connection here, and then it goes down. Like that, and then there's these little tubes or something on the back. Quite complicated machinery. So that's like the basic shape for it, but you, you can sort of add more sort of angled stuff now. And edge lines just to make it look like a little bit three dimensional. Like some boxes and things and symbols. And Right, and then there's like a sort of circular thing here. With like boxes and stuff around the edges. A little angled stuff. So I'm kind of just making this up, but just copying it as best I can while trying to keep it a little bit simple. Just adding the edge lines to it and the little clips and Stuff like that. Okay. Basically, that's the gun. All right, and then we'll do the blade thing over this side. This is complicated as well. Hmm. And his fist comes out from it. Okay. We'll do the first blade then. Where is it? It's about in line with this pipe there and then it seems to go down that way and then a curve line here and then it goes flat and then she curves again and then she goes down to a point down there so eventually they become spiky down there somewhere and then there's like all these sort of cylinders and pipes and things coming out from this, going this way. So it like steps in a couple of times. And there's an ellipse on top. And then down. And like it connects to another portion here. Right, and then there's a guard, like a hand guard portion. Mm, goes this way. There's no underneath part. Goes back, up, down, down to there. Then we have a couple of like steps up and then we go up to another cylinder type thing. Lots of edges and connector pieces and stuff. Kind of like that. 
And then there's another like guard at the back here, a piece of metal. And then his fist sort of clenched back here. And then the other blade sticks out from around the back. That way, and then out from behind his hand. And then you can add more detail to all this, of course, as much as you'd like. So, did I miss anything? That's the question. These complicated, oh yeah, there's a, something at the back of his body here. It's probably like his jetpack or something. But, the new, Titan cameraman from Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.